All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video from AA Sports Cards. We are right in the middle of unwrapping the latest consignment sent to us. And uh, let's have a look and see what's inside. Nicely wrapped, which we always appreciate. So this, uh, again, is from another repeat consigner, which, uh, as I've said many, many times before, we love to get because it shows us that they're happy with what we've uh, done for them the first, second, third, or fifth time. This is interesting. Um, I was wondering if the gentleman cut that out in the shape of this. I guess he did. I thought, wow, this is a cool sheriff promo item. It isn't. He just cut it out out of a piece of cardboard. Okay, but this is good. This is real. This is the 1961 Montreal Canadiens Sheriff Coin Team Set um, with the uh, Team Shield that was available from Solata as a separate premium. These things are very, very fragile as the cracks uh, show. Uh, there's another cardboard cut out here. Um, and uh, so I don't want to handle it more than I have to. But there is the team set, and we can see Jacques Plant and John Beliveau and Bernie Jeffreyon and Toe Blake and a litany of other Hall of Famers on there. So there's Henri Richard. So uh, that's always a cool, exciting piece to sell. And all of this material will be coming up at auction on our uh, eBay user ID, which is Mahuda. And let's have a look inside the box, and in no particular order. Uh, see what else the gentleman has sent to us to sell for him this time. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it. And I hope you're as happy as me, because I certainly am. So we have a 1969 Topps Bobby Orr, a 1970 Topps Bobby Orr. It's funny. Normally, I can always tell from the front of the card if it's a Topps or an Opeachy card. I'm sure probably most of you can too. Even though they're identical, the uh, Opeachy and Topps just vary in color ever so slightly. That is the Topps Bobby Orr. We have a very nice 1969 Topps Bobby Hull. I was going to say there's subtle variations in the colors uh, between the two companies. And... A very old KSA holder, but a very nice card. Bobby Orr, 1968 tops. I always call this the crew cut or number two in the set, number two in your program. If that was the Opeachy version, we'd all be doing uh, headstands because of the all four borders showing so nicely. I don't know if the tops has the same miscut as the Opeachy does, but... Regardless, that's a great card, and another one we'll be happy to sell. So let's carefully put that there. Let's go into another box. I, I believe the gentleman, I was going to say, has sent us some Topps hockey sets. So that Bobby Orr card may very well be going in with uh, the rest of the set here, of which... Oh, no, maybe the box was mislabeled. I do believe there are some Topps hockey sets coming. This is going to be a group of some 1980s cards that we are going to sell for the gentlemen together, including the Lemieux rookie. That will be the marquee card in this group. As I said, we'll also have a Bossy rookie, a Lindbergh rookie, a Coffee rookie, a Gilmore rookie, all Hall of Famers, and this will be sold as one group. Now we come into some vintage 1963 Parkies. We see the Red Berenson rookie card right there. This is one of my favorite sets, probably one of yours too. We will be selling all of these cards from 1963 together at auction in one lot. There is Tim Horton. So there's lots of stars in here because I saw the other Red Berenson rookie card. Let's put those down and go into some 61, 62 Parkies. That's a nice one, two, three. So uh, we may, there is Eddie Shack. So we may sell all of the Parkers together. We may sell them by year. 
once I start to get down and do the nitty gritty of the work on this lot after the video is filmed, then we will make that determination. But it looks like there is enough of the 6162 Parker uh, set here to make a near set. So this will probably be sold as one group. And as I say, lots of stars here, a few duplicates. I don't think we're going to hit the Dave Keon rookie card. I'd be happy if we did, but even without it, there is still a lot of meat on the bone here. So no Dave Keon, but still a very, very nice group. So look for that on eBay under our user ID, Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A. This is another interesting lot the gentleman has sent. This is the 1968-69 Post Marbles, Montreal Canadian set. And these are still in the original plastic bags. This is how um, a young uh, kid would have, when he dumped out uh, his alphabets in his bowl of cereal in the morning, inside the box of cereal would have been this very marble. Or perhaps this very marble. I don't know if you can see through. I think that's Gump Worsley. So again, the Montreal Canadiens are in the team bags. There is a full set here. There is also the Toronto Maple Leafs, but those are not in the bag. So again, as issued in the original bag, and of course not in the original bag, but Toronto Maple Leafs. So that will be another lot coming up. We will probably sell Montreal separately from Toronto because they are in the team bags. I'm going to put that there. Let's keep going, folks. So far, so good. I'm going to put the box down just so nothing spills. There's more in there that we're going to get to in a minute or two. And so, without trying to damage any cards here, Let's try to take out something very gently. So this is going to be uh, a group of 1968 Topps hockey cards. And we showed the Bobby Orr earlier in the group. We'll probably bring it back in because I have a feeling this is going to be a set or close to a set. And these are always a lot of fun to sell. So that looks, again, to be close to, if not a complete set of 1968 tops with the Bobby Orr. And following that is a nice group of 1970 tops hockey. Again, probably close to, if not a set. There is the checklist. And... And through a few more here. Again, the Bobby Orr would be in there, but this is going to be most likely a 1970 Topps hockey set. And we'll take Bobby and place him back on there. We'll uh, have the camera pendant on the box, and here is what is a going to be very close to, if not a set of 1972 Topps Hockey. Does the camera see that? And right in front of that is a really interesting set. The 1973 Topps set, which I think is much nicer than the Opeachy set from the same year because of the blue cards and the yellow cards. I still maintain this would have been a dynamite set if it had been done a little differently. Why, well, I guess Boston, I was going to say, why does Boston have green borders? But you could say, you know, f sort of for the Irish and the Boston Celtics. But uh, anyway, the Topps card, the, the color on the Topps cards is much nicer than the Opeachy cards. And this is always a very good seller for us. So again, this is going to be, if not a full set, very close to a complete set of 1973 Topps. And... Owing to the Bobby Orr that we saw at the beginning of this video and the Bobby Hull, here is a very nice group of 1969 tops. And again, I believe this will be a full set, if not very close, because I know the consigner mentioned to me 
that that's what he was going to send. So there is that group here with the Bobby Hull and the Bobby Orr. So we will go back and clean that up after the video is made. And let's see what else is in the box. There is a nice group of Quaker Oats photos with the original mailing envelope. And we won't delve too much inside this so as not to upset anything. But we can see there's a very, very nice group in there. Some nice quantity. We will sell those together as another lot with the mailing envelope. We have in here, what do we have in here? We have, oh, the 1963 Toronto Star Hockey Set. One of the most visually attractive hockey photo sets ever made. Every card is an in-action card full of stars. And these are always popular. Again, this will be sold. There's Bobby Hull. This will be sold as a complete set. I think Barkley did the photos on these. There's the back. So that's a set of those. And the final lot in the consignment group is a set, which, or again, appears to be a set of the 1973 uh, Opeechee WHA posters and Bobby Hull and Gordie Howe are in that set as well. Again, beautiful visual. Uh, the uniforms, I think the WHA hockey uniforms were really, really beautiful. And in this set, for those not familiar, you get a really, really close up view of them. Look at those beautiful Quebec Nordique uniforms so on and so forth. The great Jerry Cheevers, he should have worn his mask, would have been even better. And there you go. So you get the point, that will be a complete set of those. So, really, really nice consignment. Uh, when I'm going through this stuff on camera, I can't wait till the video is done so I can start working on this stuff for the consigner. Please look for all of this material to be live on eBay under our user ID, Vahuta, V-A-H-O-O-T-A, -O -O very, very shortly. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please visit our website at aasportscards.com. Thank you to all of our past uh, consigners and anyone watching this who resides in Canada with vintage or high-end modern. So from Howie Morenz and Gordy Howe to Sidney Crosby and Connor McDavid, if you do not want to sell your own cards yourself and do all the work involved, please contact us because we can do the work for you and we'll do a great job for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.